Hello YouTubers. All right, so today I'm going to do a review on a BSA gun that I picked up the other day. It's a Buccaneer in 177. It's the High Power Beach. And the way we came across this was uh, Pyramid Air was running a special on this gun. It's a uh, entry level uh, PCP. And so they had the gun itself for $400. And then along with that, you got a Hawk uh, Vantage uh, 4 to 50 scope, as well as a pair of UTG high one inch scope rings. So basically, send you the whole setup um, all ready to go. So, with that, let's uh, go ahead and open this baby up and see, what's, uh, see what we got inside. It uh, obviously comes with the uh, manual. Uh, tell you everything what you got to do, how to do everything. Put that to the side. It comes with a uh, two-year limited warranty from uh, BSA. I guess Gamma must be their distributor here in the states. Um, let's see what else do we have here. Comes with a fill probe which I already put downstairs onto my compressor and then it's got two extra o-rings for your fill probe and then a packet of I guess what's grease uh, not really sure what that is but let's see if we can't uh, get this thing unboxed and take a closer look at it all right so I finished unboxing it and uh, the stock looks really, really nice. Um, the whole gun looks really, really nice for an intro uh, PCP. Um, got the integrated silencer on it that's non-removable, so that's that's in there. Then you have your uh, manometer there at the end of it, which uh, lets you know how you're doing on your charge. And then uh, this is a little bit different uh, when it comes to filling. Um, instead of it being a, uh, you know, like you s slide it over or, you know, slide it to open it, this one you actually physically have to pull the uh, cap off, Oops. like so. And then that will expose the fill probe uh, for filling it up with uh, air. Um, bluing wise the uh, tube looks really good uh, the barrel just is average is you know it's not gonna win any beauty contests that's for sure the stock looks really really nice uh, it's got a really nice feel to it of course with it being beach and everything um, and then you have uh, to work our way up to where the magazine actually physically sits it comes with one magazine uh, and that uh, you have to pull the bolt back in order to get that out and I'll go through that here shortly but there you go it's a BSE BSA Buccaneer SE and it's got the uh, bolt pull back in the back and again your ambidextrous stock let's flip this over so we can see the other side and there again you have your your bolt pulling it, loading it, and uh, BSA in England, and your 177 caliber. So, <clears throat> so all in all, for $400, looks like it's a pretty nice package. So, let me go ahead and get that scope mounted on here, and uh, do some zeroing in, and then we'll do a 30-yard uh, a uh, test to see how she does with... Uh, with pellets, I'm gonna try the JSB 10s and the JSB 8.4s. So we will be right back for that. One other quick thing I wanted to make note before uh, we went into the mounting the scope and getting ready for testing is uh, the safety itself. 
Uh, it is not automatic. It's a manual safety. So forward for safety on, or I should say backwards for safety on, and then forward for safety off. So one of the first things I had to do before I could uh, shoot this was to clean out the barrel. I just wanted to show you all the gunk that's inside of these before you finally get to a clean swab. So uh, there's definitely a lot of a lot of stuff that's got to get cleaned out of these things before you can even think about trying to do some accuracy testing uh, through the barrel itself. All right, so here it is with the uh, Hawk 4 to 12 by 50 on it, and uh, just got done weighing it and the whole package together with the full uh, air cylinder is uh, 9.2 pounds. So this is definitely not a lightweight by any stretch of the imagination. So 9.2 pounds. All right, so I wanted to go over real fast on how you load this clip for the uh, Buccaneer. Uh, it's it's uh, different than uh, other clips that I've seen from FX and stuff. Uh, and the fact that this is already pre-spring loaded, so you have to actually physically move it from spot to spot. If you let it go, it will actually just go back to the beginning. So you start out with your first one, put it in, and then you have to index it and then continue to hold it while you put in your next one. And then again, you do the same thing. You index it and hold it. And you do that for all 10 rounds. This is a 10 round clip. And that is how you load this clip. All right, and now uh, the way that you load this uh, magazine, uh, you see it has this little dimple right here at the end. Uh, that little dimple actually goes into a hole that's right there uh, on the inside of the gun. So uh, it is magnetized, so you just simply put it in, and you see it just dropped right in. Uh, it can go in backwards, or I should say upside down, um, and it does seem to go, but of course, with the pellet being on the wrong side, and you won't be able to, to, to uh, push the bolt in. So... Just uh, put it in and drop it, and that's it. Close the bolt when you're ready, and you are good to go. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted to show everybody regarding the clip itself. Uh, I noticed this when I was shooting the gun. I didn't really see it before. But the clip actually has numbers on the side of it, and so it will actually tell you what shot number you're on. Uh, or how many shots I should say you, you have left so as you can see it's on number seven right now and when you uh, ex When you shoot your next shot that will index to number six Letting you know that you have six more shots left in the magazine. So no more picking up the gun and going Oh my gosh, how many shots do I have left before I'm actually empty? So that's a neat little uh, Neat little ad that they did so that you don't have to worry about uh, Counting shots or anything like that. You can know exactly what you got before you pick it up to shoot again.
right, so here are the results for the 30 and 50 yard tests. Uh, the group on the left are the JSB uh, exact heavies, 10.34 uh, grains. And the ones on the right are the uh, standard Diablos 8.44s. At 30 yards, the uh, heavies uh, did very well. So you can cover that up basically with a dime. Really nice tight group right there. And then the uh, JSB exacts standards. They, I don't know why that group isn't tighter, but uh, it's not even quite the size uh, for a quarter to cover. Uh, so a little bit... Uh, a little bit uh, disappointed in those groups. Um, going to the 50-yard group, uh, as you can guess, they probably got worse than they did. The uh, group on the left is the uh, heavies, and just covered by a quarter, uh, so not bad for 50 yards. But uh, obviously, for the JSB exacts, uh, you know, didn't like it at all. The gun didn't like these at all. So, all in all, that's pretty nice for a, uh, you know, entry pneumatic, fresh out of the box. You know, first 50, 60 shots, and those are the groups that we're getting. So, that's not too bad at all for an entry gun. All right, uh, shot count wise. Figured I'd do a quick uh, run and see exactly what we get. So starting out uh, with a complete fill at uh, 230 bar. The manual says uh, the max is 232, so mine would set at 230. You start out at uh, basically 905, and that was my low. And then for the shot string, you, it will slowly go up. Uh, I hit a high of 939 before it then started to go back down. Uh, last one was 908 before it went into the 800s, uh, giving you uh, 54 full power shots before you have to refill. Um, the average uh, throughout that string was uh, 926 with like an 8.5 standard deviation. So it's uh, non-regulated, so this isn't really a surprise, but pretty consistent for uh, the shot groups that you do get um, from the time you fill to the time you you're kind of empty so 54 good shots not bad for uh, that's that small of a cylinder all right final thoughts on the uh, BSA Buccaneer SE in 177 all in all uh, the gun was uh, very nice to shoot, seemed to be pretty well balanced. Uh, the beach stock was very nice. Um, the moderator worked uh, fairly well. Uh, it still had a slight bark. I'm not sure if it'd be uh, quiet enough for a suburban environment backyard, but definitely for an urban one. Uh, and um, the is only issue I had again was with the uh, trigger itself. Um, it just the first stage is very crisp, but then to get to that second stage, you just got to keep pulling and pulling and pulling before it finally breaks. So you will have to work uh, with that and figure out exactly where it's going to let go. I was able to figure that out, but it just took a number of shots to finally figure it out. Uh, one of the uh, bright spots or surprises was that uh, with the Hawk, it's a 4 to 12 by 50. And what I didn't realize when I first opened it was the fact that this Hawk is an IR, so it has the illuminated reticle. Uh, so that was a nice added bonus that I wasn't expecting in the overall package. Um, but uh, overall, again, for $500, $400, uh, this is a really nice bundle from, from Pyramid Air. So hope you uh, found this uh, informative and uh, thank you again for watching